Doug here at GoBodyTrust.com. Another article, believe it or not, from Science Daily and that I found intriguing, and that is uh, it's from the American Society of Nephrology, which is kidney stuff, biomedical kidneys, not Chinese kidneys. It says, itchy skin affects the health and quality of life of many patients with kidney disease. Well, of course, itchy skin always affects the quality of life, no matter what your problem is. But here's what's happening. Junk in the blood, okay, a lot of sugar and other stuff uh, coming from food, excess food that gets in the blood, that circulates a lot in the blood. Now, how does that get out of the body? If it can't get into cells, the cells are choked, uh, usually diabetes too. This goes along with diabetes too, but... Where does it go? Well, it gets filtered through your uh, biomedical kidneys. You have one on each side in the lower back, and it filters. If it gets overloaded, if those filters get overloaded chronically over a period of time, they can get ruptured. They can get damaged. This is not good. This is very serious. This is kidney disease. So what does the body do as an alternative to dragging it through these damaged kidneys? it sends it out through the emergency exit. It takes it from the colon into the blood, and the blood, instead of taking it through your biomedical kidneys, it sends it out through the skin, your emergency exit, and it's hot. So it's toxic heat, that's what we call it. It's originating in the colon because there's too much half-processed food in there, and it sits around. Anything that sits around for a while, any, any stuff, right food sits around and ferments and it gets like a swamp and it gets nasty yeah it's impacted fecal matter that's nasty and so that that comes out on the skin in a lot of different problems a lot of different problems one of them is nephritis or kidney failure western biomedical kidney not your chinese kidney not at all by the way uh, it's totally different but um so that's the emergency exit. Now, why is it itchy? Because heat generates turbulence, doesn't it? If you look at a, 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 an open fire, like a campfire, there's turbulence all around there. It's called a heat storm. That heat storm creates that itching. It's wind. We call that wind. That turbulence is wind. Chinese, that's a Chinese term. Well, and of course, it feels like somebody's, right, kind of blowing on your skin, kind of feels windy. That's wind. Well, we have herbs, of course, that will uh, uh, neutralize that toxic heat and cool it and try to take it out through the colon where it's supposed to go, not out through the skin and not out through uh, your western kidneys, for sure. Take it straight out. Uh, but the real, the real answer is to back off of food, of course. If your body's overloaded with half-processed food, what's it tell you about eating new food? It probably says you're never hungry. You never have an empty feeling in the stomach area that motivates you to go to work. In fact, people with kidney disease are very sick. They can't work. You should really back off the food. Anyway, that's all for today, amigos. Midweek. Have a great rest of the week. I'll see you tomorrow.